Hello, welcome back. Um, if you have, uh, if you weren't aware, uh, Silky Picks came out with version nine. It is a major new version for Silky Picks, and it has some great new features. And they're all. If you want to go to SilkyPick.us or um, the Silky Picks Japan site, you can see all the new features that are available. But these are kind of top level, high end things. I'm not going to talk about those in this video. I want to talk about some of the cool things that I found that aren't really listed um, necessarily in this uh, in this top level list. Minor changes that really are really great. Um, so I'm just going to dismiss this. Um, first of all, there's a lot more configura configurability of the interface. Um, previously, you had the ability when you clicked on one of these uh, interface things to uh, make it a floating panel or close it or, or uh, something like that. Now you have a lot more options um, over here. And if you look over here, you have you can put them in different control panel palettes, which are located throughout here. Um, the one that I really like, um, your HDR features were moved to this little plus minus, and we can actually fix that in a control box. And so as I move through the different major controls, my my exposure and luminance always stays up. And that's nice because I like that's one of those tools that I like to tweak and go back to and you know, maybe tweak some color balance and then go back to the HDR. And so I don't keep having to, to relaunch that or reopen that. It always stays up. But all the great uh, ability to customize. Um, the toolbar up here is now customizable. You right mouse click customized toolbar. Um, what I like to do is add like the crop tool and I like the rotation tool um, to be up here so that I can grab those um, without having to find them in here. Um, just uh, a lot more customizable, a lot more um, user-friendly. You also have little arrows here which you can use to dismiss um, the sides tabs just um, a lot easier to use um, another thing that I really like is that you can now um, show you in an image you can now open it with another application you can register applications you can decide if you want to open them with JPEG you want to open them with TIFF um, this is great for HDR. You can take three images, shove them right over to Photomatix or whatever your HDR tool of choice is. Um, it isn't a complete round trip, so you will still have to, once you've uh, done your editing, then resave it in the location you want to keep it at. But um, really just much easier to use uh, Silky Picks now with third-party applications. I'm going to just push this over to my other screen. Some of my other tools that uh, we don't need to be seeing right now. Um, and I'm talking about my favorite new tool. So, in uh, the tone curve, there's always this auto levels, and auto levels does just what it does in uh, Elements or Photoshop Elements or Photoshop Full Version or most other editing tools. It clips off. Um, some percentage of the brightest and some percentage of the darkest um, tools. So um, it kind of brings, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Kind of brings this side in and this side in to some degree. Um, and the problem is with Silky Picks 8 and earlier, in the function settings, um, the default was. 0.5% of your brightest, 0.5% of your darkest parts of the image, and that was the lowest you could go besides zero. And so if you hit the uh, the auto levels button um, in Silky Pix 8 or, or below, it tended to be really harsh. Um, you could easily blow out highlights, you could block shadows. Um, it was um, really not very useful because it you're basically throwing away 1% of all your total pixels, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it could be pretty bad. 
So with Silky Pix 9, the new default is 0.1%. So 0.1% of the shadow, 0.1% of the highlight. Um, and that is a lot nicer. As you can see, it just makes that image just pop. Um, great, great new feature, kind of hidden. Um, if you are still um, using auto, if you haven't used auto levels because it was too harsh in the past, you probably want to start doing it now, um, or at least looking at it. Um, this is what the one of the main things that the auto adjust does, besides adjusting exposure and uh, white balance, is basically does an auto levels, and I think it does a great job. And again, these are not. Uh, this is not a video about the top level major changes. These are just some of the hidden changes that you may not have seen um, that make Silky Pix uh, 9 uh, just a much, uh, much easier program to use. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this, feel free to leave a comment or um, um, hit me up on Facebook um, and the Silky Pix uh, US uh, group. And again, thanks for watching.